When the sun's out, Tyrone Reynolds is one of the first rushing for the beach. But there's always time for sun cream, especially after his family was touched by skin cancer. My uh, granddaughter had a, a mole which she had removed and they said that was cancerous afterwards. I'm looking at the sun all the time when I'm kiting and uh, you do get burnt very easily so it's, it's best, you know, you put the protection on just so you don't get burnt. Last year, 6,200 men developed skin cancer, with a slightly higher number of women also diagnosed. But 1,300 of those male patients died, while a lower number of 900 women died. Cancer Research UK says the 70% higher death rate in men is a concern. Men seem to be more likely to be diagnosed late, uh, which is, and when you're diagnosed late, you have lower survival rates, and so. Being diagnosed early is really important to giving you the best possible chance of beating the disease. And some of that seems to be linked to men being reluctant to waste a doctor's time and, and not going early. Richard Coombs knows that his sons do a better job than he does when it comes to the suntan lotion. For him, the stats are a worry, but on a sunny day in Somerset, he still wasn't wearing any lotion. It's breezy, it's not brilliantly hot, so I do get a little complacent, a little lazy. And as you've highlighted, um, I'm not a very good example to my two boys. While some men may not be putting on enough sun cream or maybe not going to their doctors, the researchers are also looking at whether there's any biological differences in how the cancer develops in men and women and whether that's also contributing to that increasing death rate. Scientists do know that women are more likely to develop the cancer on their arms and legs, while for men it's their chest or back. Although while the warm weather lasts, it's best to keep the whole lot covered up to reduce your risk of being caught out. Rhiannon Mills, Sky News in Somerset.